Hi everybody, it's Melissa K. I am back um, with a brand new video. So today I'm gonna show you how I make natural citrus juice. So I, I get all the juice, okay? And as you can see, the rind is gonna be on top. Um, the people in my family, well, I would say my son, he's about four years old. He doesn't like rind, so I'm gonna basically, um, I'm gonna remove the, the rind before I pour it. And you can kind of feel when you remove everything out of here because it starts to feel thinner as you have it on top of there. It'll, you can feel like the meat of the, uh, the lime is actually being removed. So I'm about to do the lemon now. And Put the lemon up here, and also too, you could put this on top. I'm not really crazy about it, but it's supposed to help keep the juice from splashing, which is not really doing anyway. But as you can see, the, the juice is actually falling down into that area. Then we're gonna do the oranges. Yeah, basically if you um you can do the the, the motion of the citrus squeezer. Okay guys, so one thing I wanted to say is um when this the holes in here, you gotta close it if you want less pulp in your drink. And so that's what I've done. So you see less holes. If you turn it to the right, you get more holes. Um yeah, so it's all about what you like. And if you go counterclockwise with this, it'll spin to the right, it spins slower. So it's just all about the speed you wanna use. For me, I just put it on here most of the time. Um, what I do is, if I don't like the taste of, you know, sometimes you buy oranges and they don't taste as sweet as you like them to taste, I might just turn them into juice. And I add, and I do add the, um, the lemons and limes just to, you know, make the juice taste better. What real um, citrus juice is supposed to taste like, not what you get in the store. So there's no juice left in here for sure. So now what I do is I take this off, like that, put that down to the side. What I'm going to do is I have a gallon of water. I'm going to pour half of this or like maybe a quarter of this water into another gallon container. All right. You can do this with a, um, a regular pitcher, but I'll just do it like this because, you know, I'm drinking a lot of uh, bottled water. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it. I'm going to pour it into this. bottle. Well, what we did essentially was just create room for the new, the new juice. And then you can kind of see how much juice you're getting because there's pulp on the top. And just for the sake of time, I'm doing it like this. Sometimes I'll pour it into something else first and then transfer it. But you see how thick it is so the juice is not really coming out fast. Look at the pulp. Yeah, so people that for people who like pulp, this would be an easy thing to make because you don't really have to, you skip the straining part. But um, in my household, we're not big pulp lovers like that. I don't mind a little bit of pulp in my juice, but not, not too thick. And you can also do this in here too, if you want to, like that. You just kind of move the strainer around. And then you're gonna pour the lime, the lime out. You could do that too. Kinda, that gets all the pulp. Make that pulp stick. And then you're gonna pour it inside the Right, and then okay. you, mm -hmm. and this is real juice, man. Not the garbage you get in the store with all that dye, that cancerous dye that they're giving us. The earth provides everything that we need. 
we just gotta go back to the basics. That's it. And see, that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna get out of this. So yeah, all the like excess out, pulp. Right? Yeah, all the excess pulp, I'm just gonna throw it back in there and we'll clean that up later. So now what we're going to do is, it up. no, what we're going to do now is that we're going to pour, and I'm not going to measure this out just for the sake of time, but I'm going to pour some date, some date sugar in here, date syrup, which is a better form of sugar for your body than just cane sugar. Show us what the bottle looks like. Okay. This bottle is called Date Lake. It is organic. Um, I just... There was no rhyme or reason. Um, I was going, I'm doing like the Dr. Sadie recommendation, um, what he recommends for your diet and for sugar. He recommended date syrup and agave syrup. And I like the date syrup better than the agave syrup. So another brand that I got from a discount shopping store called Ross, and it was on sale for $3.99. That one was $10, that mm -hmm. bottle. So yeah. The show this, is what it looked like. So. That yeah. one is, yeah. I got it for three ninety nine. It was on sale. All right. You know, I, by the cash register, they always have like yeah, extra yeah, stuff know. you can buy. Yeah. So shake it, baby. Shake that shit. <laughs> See how it's all at the bottom. Yeah. So you can kind of see when it gets um, incorporated into the juice because it disappears. So that's your guy right there. And if you had a pitcher, you would just keep stirring. Like that. All right. So now I'm gonna do a taste test. See what it tastes like, and if it's too sweet or it's too strong, I'm gonna add more water. So it's um, I would say it needs more sugar. And I think I may actually put another lemon or lime in here. Only because the oranges are not that sweet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, and then the water, the water concentration is still a little bit, uh, it could be a little stronger. And with, with what's going on right now. So we're saying you're putting one more. So basically for my taste test, um, I realized that I need to put some more lemons in there and I might add another lime just because um, we like it to taste um, a little bit concentrated. We like it a little bit um, strong. So like some people prefer their juice more watery. We like we like to really taste the lime and the lemon or you know what I mean? So we like to taste that citrus. We want to know that it's there. So um, I'm going to add I just added some more water to this. So um, pretty much I got the water up to the top because I want to, you know, we want to drink a gallon. We got a big family, so we want to drink a, at least have a gallon of juice because that'll last a, a few days. Um, <laughs> so I added the water, I added some more date syrup, and I'm shaking it like this one more time to make sure that we get an equal distribution. There's a lot of syrup at the bottom, you can see the dark. So when you see that kind of disappear, then you know that distribution is good. I should shake it like a Polaroid picture. And I think that's gonna be about it for right now. So time to do the taste test. All right. So you see that it's kind of foaming up at the top. Let's see the foam. All right, y'all, so that's the foam. All right, so now taste test. All right, time for the taste test. It's not mm. taste. It's refreshing, it's good. It it's tastes not like too sweet, sweet. sweet. It's perfect. And you see that the um 
the citrus drink is a little bit dark because of the date syrup but that's that's okay because it doesn't shake it doesn't change the taste of the citrus so it's like perfect mm -hmm. um all right family so i'll be back with some more future videos on how to make like healthy drinks and, and food and stuff like that don't forget to thumbs up the video like subscribe and share with a friend and comment right <laughs> All right. Comment if you have any suggestion tips, if you have any questions, you know, let's just make this thing into reactive. All right. Bye. All right. See you next time. Hey y'all, I just want to give a shout out to the person that bought my shirt. If you want a shirt, men's and women's, feel free to go to afrinewbie.com and thank you for your support.